Hi, I'm Muniba Faiza and welcome to Bioinformatics Review. Today we are going to continue our last video tutorial on PyMol basic functions. So in this video, I'm going to show you some other uh, basic functions or you can say some advanced functions that you can perform with your uh, complex in PyMol. So let's start with the our, uh, our pose uh, where you can see the protein and the ligand. Now, if you want to visualize the uh, binding residues as a sticks, you already know that, I assume. Let's select some random residues here nearby this ligand. And if you want to show them as a sticks, just go to the right panel, click on selected uh, row and click on S column and show them as sticks. Okay. If you want to change the color, then you can change the color as green but if you want to show these residues as a spheres so you can change it here okay so you can see them as spheres but if you want to hide the uh, background protein and just make it a little more transparent okay now the binding residues are more clear okay so if you want to reduce the size of these spheres so you can always set the sphere scale to 0.25 okay so now they have become very small you can set it to 0.5 so you can see the sphere size has been reduced here and the protein is really transparent if you want to make it more transparent then just set it to 80 percent okay now you can label these residues just again go to this panel uh, in the selected row go to l column label residues as as you wish you want as one letter or the residue identifier or just the resi residue name okay or you just want the one letter code so it depends on you so i am i'm going to label it as label residues okay now you can see the residue name is not clear because it's uh, getting hide uh, behind these spheres so the other option you have is you can move the labels go to this uh, panel that is at the bottom right and left click okay Two button editing mode all right now be very careful let's first increase the uh, size of this um, label Sorry. set it to 18 points okay now you can see them clearly and we are in the editing mode so carefully uh, press control button on your keyboard and click on this residue name again carefully click on the carefully click on the residue name only otherwise it will move the protein or your uh, sphere as you can see here see now you can see all the residue names all right so they are clearly visible if you want to change the font again go back to setting label font as you want you want serif okay so 
you can make them clear as much here okay Alright. so if you want to decrease the size of uh, these spheres okay set the sphere scale to 0 0.3 and now they are really reduced in size okay two button and then go back to two button viewing mode okay so now go back to three button viewing mode and you can see here your protein and you can generate the images or you can save this molecule as in the in the pdb format okay save this as complex dot pdb and save all right so the next thing you can do with imol is you can change the uh, protein surface you can show the surface but again it's colorful so make it transparent again transparency surface 80 percent you can if you want to if you don't want to show the uh, protein then hide the cartoon okay and then you're back to this now in this uh, picture you can easily visualize the ligand the interacting residues and the label names okay and you can always save the picture in high quality always use ray at 300 dpi if you want to keep the transparent background then it's your wish when you ray it it will take a little while now save this image to file image.png okay now it's saved so you must be thinking why would you wish to show these interacting residues as a spheres sometimes it happens that you have several other uh, several other uh, residues which you want to show in different colors right besides them beside them let's select some other residues okay and this here like this or this not this one it's very far or this so you want to show them as spheres as well but in a different color so change the color to something else for example light magenta okay so you can differentiate what these other kinds of residues are uh, sometimes it's possible that these residues they are interact they are maybe you can show that they are aromatic or you know the different kinds of residues so if you can go to the editing mode control button and then this okay go back to three button viewing mode and you can always label these residues label residues and then again since these are not visible enough so you can move them move the labels as i have told you earlier right be careful you are be careful while you are clicking uh, on the label name otherwise it can take away the um, the part of protein with itself so that's why
make sure you are keeping them close to their real residue name okay now you can decrease the size of your font set it to 14 points now it's more clear if you want to calculate the uh, bond length uh, for example uh, since it's not showing any um, any uh, hydrogen bond right now so let me just select some random atoms so suppose for this and this for this and this or this and this so the uh, that's how you can uh, see the bond length yes uh, these are not the real interacting residue so don't get confused because the bond length is quite high 10.85 or 6.5 it's not considered near binding pocket so that much uh, you can do uh, with your uh, protein complex but there is always more you can change the display settings you can set the background to light gray or whatever you want if you want to set it for publications or video web i always keep it defaulted rgb you can change the quality to get maximum performance okay but i think it's better to keep it at a reasonable performance and you can show the depth q forming uh, that is uh, useful in the uh, case where you are showing the protein as cartoon okay so background color quality you can set the grid i have disabled it right now so you can always explore more and find more and more functions what you can do with your protein okay so that's all for today i hope you like this video and you can subscribe to our channel uh, to get more uh, useful videos and please comment in the uh, uh, and please comment below if you want to see some other kind of videos related to bioinformatics review you can always visit our website at www.bioinformaticsreview.com and you can contact us at info at the rate bir.com and muniba at the rate bir.com facebook page is uh, facebook.com slash bioinformatics review our twitter handle is bioinfo review we uh, always post up you can subscribe to our magazine and you can join our telegram channel you can ask many questions you can answer questions so uh, keep yourself updated thank you so much